Now, how's it going, everyone? This video is going to be for someone very specific. It's going to be for a very specific viewer. It's going to be for someone who has a dual PC setup, an Astro Mix amp, a capture card, um, and an HDMI cable and an optical cable for the Astro Mix amp. And they want to route both PCs audio into one headset. <laughs> it's a lot. I'll just I'll just put it up on screen. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna try and make this um this this video as quickly as possible. I will also leave links to everything in the description below. The the hardware I'm using, the software I'm using, and links to my main channels. Okay. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible. I'm gonna start off with the Astro Mix amp. The one I have is a older version, but this should definitely work for the newer versions of the mix amp, uh, uh, Astro Mix amps as well. Uh, firstly, you, what you want to do is, is hook up both both pieces to the mix amp. Okay, as you can see, this is my Astro Mix amp. This is the one that I have, and you can see I've got a optical cable, which is this one, and the USB cable, which is this one. The optical cable, this one over here. Okay, this one is connected to my gaming PC and the USB cable is connected to my streaming PC. One thing that is really nice about this is now that I have it connected this way, is if I turn this way all the way to game, I will only hear my gaming PC. I can also balance it to hear more gaming PC than streaming PC, which is this side, my voice. So if I turn it all the way to voice, I will only hear my streaming PC. Just keep in note, um, you can hear both, obviously, so if you keep it in the middle, you will hear both. Perfectly fine, but just keep in mind that this is not controlling your, your system's audio. It's only for you. So in the recordings, the volume will still be as is and will not be lowered or higher if you play around with this knob. It will be the exact same. And this also is valid for when you stream using this audio routing setup. Uh, reason why I don't use the stream port, this one over here, or the auxiliary to connect the streaming or gaming PC is I needed a ground loop isolator. So yes, you can do that. I didn't have one and I was in the process of up upgrading to a Go XLR, which I still need a, a ground loop isolator. But I figured why bother with the mix amp when I'm getting a Go XLR. Just so you know. I've got Discord hooked up to my or downloaded on my streaming PC and it works great. I have to say it works great. I didn't want the gaming PC to do anything. Okay, so yeah, I'm back on my gaming PC. The next thing I, I'm going to ask you is to install Voice Meets Banana on both PCs and make sure to reboot your PCs and come back to this video. After installing Voice Meets Banana, go ahead and open it up. And make sure it is your default playback device. Okay, so there we go. You can see mine is the default playback device. Uh, I used to use Elgato Sound Capture. There's probably a few of you who probably tried it as well, or is currently using it. But as you can notice, that the the audio is pretty bad. It's only 16 bit, 48,000 DVD quality, right? Where Voice Meter is actually 24 bit, 48,000 studio quality. Uh, to me, it made a big difference, especially if you play games with binaural audio, like Hunt Showdown, which is an amazing game, and the sound is pretty much everything. So yeah, you definitely want the best audio quality you can possibly find. Okay, so the next thing is, you will basically see voice meet a banana like this, okay? So don't get scared, it's nothing, it's nothing to be scared of. It might look super intimidating, but it really isn't. So you got your bunch of hardware inputs over here, right? Uh, you can ignore everything here. Even the VAIO, just ignore it, like, completely. You'll probably see a bunch of things on in each one, you know, and you're wondering what the hell is going on. Just just disable them. Just, you know, get out of here. You don't want any of those. All you're going to focus on is this, the voice meter aux, okay? And then you can s select A1 and A2. It probably won't be selected, but... It, um, if yeah, just go ahead and make sure that these ones are green, they, which means they are active. And then we want to go over to hardware out, okay? And this is what you do: you select WDM Real Tech Digital Output, which is basically my um, sound driver, which is basically my Astro mix amp or my optical cable. Okay, I select WDM because it works best for me. MME or KS might work better for you. 
you can play around with it just to see which 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 one works better for you. So go ahead and select that one. And then the second one will be your capture cards HDMI cable. Okay, so in my case it's the old Gato 1080 HDR cable. Okay, and I keep it to double I keep I kept it to WDM. So if you're using MME, keep it to MME. If you're using KS, keep it to KS. Okay, play it safe. Uh there we go. Now you have successfully set up your gaming PC. Now you have we have to head over to your streaming PC. Um, let me just quickly show you. Here we go. There is my streaming PC. Again, here's voice meter. You should have installed and downloaded and rebooted the PC, and you should again make sure that it's actually your default playback device. So just to be sure. I can see, whoops, I can see that this, this is my default playback device. Advice is my voice meter, your aux input. Perfect. This way, now I know that everything is working. You can, again, just unselect all of these if they are selected. Uh, the reason why I actually have um, these renamed um, and actually I have A1 active is because I am recording with separate audio tracks. But uh, this this part will be a whole new video, okay? Because you need um, VB cables and everything. So for the time being, just as a go ahead and disable all of that, uh, just make sure on voice meter orgs you've got a one, okay? And then you want to get to hardware out, and what you want to do is WDM Astro Mix Amp Pro Voice, not Pro Game, Pro Voice. Okay, again, you can play around with this. You, you can use MME or KS and see which one works best for you. For me, WDM works perfectly. Okay, so there we go. Now we actually have everything set up accordingly. So to test this, I'm going to head over to my YouTube channel. Okay, and I'm going to make sure that I am getting audio. Okay, let's just go to this video over here. Oh, there we go. We can actually hear audio from this. Perfect. Wow, look at that. I can hear audio from my streaming PC. But you might ask, Fuzzy, what about what about your gaming PC? Well, let's let's test it then. Let's go back to YouTube, okay? Let's go back to YouTube. I'll jump back to my YouTube channel again. And I'll watch the same video again. Okay, let's see. Let's um uh, let's just jump way ahead. Oh, we just jumped on the sound. Oh, look at that. I can hear audio on both PCs. Your recordings will have audio on both PCs and your stream will have audio on from both PCs. And your viewers can hear everything. Your crew, your viewers on YouTube and Twitch can hear everything. You can, you know, edit happily because you've got all the audio tracks that you need. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope this helps someone. I know this is safe. This is a very, very, very specific video uh, for a very, very specific um, audience. And I hope it helps someone out. And um, yeah, let me know down in the comments below if it helped you out or not. And if you've got any questions again, uh, let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to help you. Um, I do appreciate the watch. And uh, yeah, I, like I said, I hope it really helped out someone. Have a fantastic day or night. And um, I'll see you in the next one. The next video will probably be... Recording separate audio tracks with dual PCs using voice means a banana, Astro Mix Amp, and a capture card. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's going to be interesting. That's going to be probably a way longer video than this. But yeah, have a good one. See you around. Bye.